on January 17, 1938. Despite our victory yesterday, the advance on Hithis was a lot slower than anticipated. We are constantly getting hammered from all directions, not by French military units that are defending the island, but by citizens. Many of the Lemra citizens have managed to salvage and use our own guns against us just four hours after we destroyed Fort Lewis yesterday. The people of Lemra Island are growing a lot more a lot bolder than we previously anticipated, and there is no doubt that just like what we were doing when we first entered the island three days ago, they are going as far as to target us one battalion at a time in order to advance the villages and towns we destroyed in the process. 76th Battalion was sent off down the Lemra Rock Highway yesterday in order to conduct pacifications of the areas of Lemra Island that we control, but we lost contact with them last night. We are moving in now toward the town of Kion, which was the last known location of where the 76 were before they went dark. Until this threat can be, can be eliminated or at least quarantined, our advance on Hithis is temporarily halted. In order for us to seek out and destroy all of these armed groups that are harassing our forces, from across all the areas of Lemar Island that we control, they have been targeting our supply convoys, constantly getting more and more guns to field their attacks against us. All I can say is, is this. If they think that massacring our forces will save them from what is going to happen for the amount of civilians they killed on the horizon, they have another thing coming. Alright y'all, so hello and welcome back to Men of Warsaw Squad 2 today. We are going to be continuing the Eve of War mod made by uh, 2021 um, Universal, I think. Um, this is his name, I forget exactly. But anyway, um, so this is a super cool mod. I played the first two missions a little while ago, and I actually already uploaded the same video today. Um, but it turned out that my footage cut off after a certain point before I actually finished the mission. Which is super annoying, so now I have to re-record this. Um, because, I mean, I need a video yes, for today. Sir. And also because I want to play through this again, but, um, That's thankfully, um, even though I will be having to re-record this, um, the mod developer has, um, updated the mission to now include more stuff than there was when I was recording it previously. So, now you guys get to see an updated version of this mission here, and we get to see exactly what he showed. So, I've already played through this mission. But I've not played through the updated version, so this could have some cool, um, some stuff here, um, waiting for us. So let's go ahead here, we'll just continue moving up here. So, we're obviously going to lead the way here with our half-tracks and, um, the M20s over here, which I think are also half-tracks. They're not half-tracks, uh, but these are M20s, which are, like, the pre-stage of the Greyhound. Um, they're just the Greyhound, but minus the turret, and it has just... Just a 50 cal on top. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna push forward with the half tracks and M20s, and they're gonna be providing a bunch of cover fire for the infantry, so then our infantry doesn't get absolutely slaughtered on the way up here. Uh, there is a lot of chatter going on here on the comms. It's way too much stuff for me to want to read out loud, so um, you guys can go ahead and read that um, by pausing the video and stuff like that. But yeah, it's just usually like to read all the chatter and stuff that goes on in like the chat. Uh, in the message history, but I don't think it's worth reading it for this one. <laughs> or I don't think it's worth reading out what it's saying, just because of how much there is. Okay, so we're going to start getting everyone uh, ready to go. We do have to be careful because they do have uh, a bazooka here, and actually it makes more sense if instead of, those, of using these guys here. By the way, that thing should be destroyed because that tree just fell on top of it. But anyway, That's it. Let's move out. Yes, call, instead of gentlemen. moving forward with these guys first, we use the sniper baby. We slap him right inside this little forested area. So then it's going to be hard for them to see him. And then what we do is we find whoever the hell has that bazooka and we just kill him right now. So then he doesn't do any damage to our stuff. Although they clearly know that we're over here. Because they are all waiting for us. And that right there is the guy who had the bazooka. He is dead now. There is one other guy. He's right there. He also has a bazooka. So... Alright, you're shooting targets, which is good, obviously. But I want you shooting this guy at the bazooka here, because he's the biggest problem. Now. Slap him. Got him! Alright, now let's just go ahead here and... Find another target. <laughs> The sniper perfect. Alright, so now we can start moving forward with these things. I mean, they're already providing cover fire. 
is perfect, but we'll move them forward so they have a bit of a better angle. Damn. These French just really, they put way too much faith in these forests, I gotta be honest. Like, did they not think someone was gonna come through this forest? To attack this village? I mean, come on. What do you think we're doing? Oh shit, that guy has a bazooka. Thankfully he missed because he's a dingus. I have no idea what he's doing. Unlike me. Alright. Come on. Just gonna run over all these trees. I mean, they're definitely growing. It's not just me, right? Like, that tree was definitely a lot shorter before I ran it over. And then I run, run into the tree and the tree, like, super sizes. Like, I'm not even sure what the hell's happening there. Just men of war physics for you guys. Possibly some of the goofiest physics in any video game. Actually, that's not true. But, definitely pretty goofy physics. Not gonna lie. Alright, so this little first um, outcropping over here has already been uh, pretty uh, wrecked, I would say. Um, we don't really have an angle with our sniper anymore. I'm gonna move him up over this way. So this will definitely give us an angle. Um, I don't think we can see him because he's hiding behind that, whatever, that section of rope. But we do have angles on both of these people inside these houses over here, so we're gonna go and shoot them. Alright, and there's one last guy right there. Who I don't even know what he's doing. He's just chilling. Never mind. I just completely obliterated that guy. <laughs> His entire body's gone too. We'll leave no more remains. Alright. We'll move forward with this group here because we're we have cover fire from the M20s and the half tracks, so. We have plenty of cover fire and stuff, we're just going to start pushing forward. We're just going to keep making our way over here. That poor soul has just been deleted from existence by the absolute tidal wave of bullets that just rammed into him. Alright, everyone moving up over here. I mean, that's also that's where the next objective point is, and also just because I'm just going to get as many people up here as I can. Then we can try to uh, just start ripping into the enemies here. <clears throat> Alright. Now we're going to start sniping these guys over here. It looks like we have some troops running towards us. Um, as you can see back there. So uh, that is part of the uh, new stuff that he just added in. After my... Uh, I feel the first time here, the new update that he just did today. Which, I mean, I find that pretty interesting. Um, that apparently this mod wasn't um, ready. It's like, I played it, and there was no problem there. Oh, damn. Uh, that's bad. Well, our sniper is dead now. So, yeah. Uh, we're gonna move an M20 over here. This is gonna be very risky, but <clears throat> we need cover fire from we need, we need cover fire from an MG of some sort over there. Stat. We also have to be super careful of the MGs because they do have an MG over here, and so I'm gonna do my best to either keep him suppressed or um, just try not to lose him. But we are losing more and more troops here. Which just is not good. This is a machine gunner right here. We want him. We want him ripping into the enemy series. As much as possible. Oh damn, someone here has like 20 gr Why does this one man have all of the grenades? Oh, that's lag. Nope, okay. That was indeed lag, but nothing happened. So that's good to know. Who has 20 fucking grenades? You do. Why do you have literally every grenade? Oh, you have a grenade launcher. Okay. Well, that'll be why, guys. Where's that going? <laughs> Nowhere near where I wanted it to go. Perfect. Just what I planned. 
I get on the ground to maybe increase accuracy? I don't know. This thing seems pretty helpless in terms of uh, accuracy. That yeah, just slammed into a building. Yeah, again, not exactly the greatest accuracy. And by not exactly the greatest, I mean this is probably the worst accuracy I've ever seen on any single weapon ever. Okay, that, that that's that's better. That was actually a good shot right there. That was actually like that. I mean, it didn't kill anyone, even though it really should have. It didn't kill anyone, I think. But can you rip into him? Nope, that grenade completely missed. Interesting. Okay. But anyway, so yeah, this this mission has been out for a little while, and I'm surprised that like it's only just now seeing. The uh, video that I posted, and now it's like actually we should probably add something else here too. Which is pretty interesting, but so I mean either way, they're both. There's a good mission before, so I'm not entirely sure why. Um, they both need to add it in, obviously, but I mean he'll probably see this video too. Yeah, let's see here. Oh right, yeah, that's just not worth it. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing, sir? What are you doing? Oh. We lost one of our half tracks. To what did we lose the half track to? Did it get absolutely sniped by one of these bastards back here? It could be a dead guy, so we need to be careful. Yeah, the last time I played this, there was a lot more people in the area, and there just wasn't any people in the area where there was a lot of people in before. It's so like in this one. There's a bunch of people back there, but the last video that I did on this, there wasn't a ton of people back here. So that is interesting. Springfield? Where's that sniper rifle that we had? <clears throat> is this the sniper? It is, yeah. Okay, yeah, that is it. Although, it's not going to be nearly as good. Because, uh, it's been, uh... You need to have the, uh... The person who uses it in order to have the, uh... Sniper aim. In order to have, like, the thing that zooms in. So, if it doesn't... If, you, if, if that person dies, then... You know, it's game over. You know... I hate how long this thing takes to fucking reload. There we go. I'm using a grenade launcher from two feet in front of these guys, but it doesn't matter. All that matters is results, baby, results! It took you ten minutes to realize I was over here, bud. It, it's over for you, you're dead. Yeah. You are dead. Congratulations, you are dead. Alright, here we go. Come on. I mean, yeah, see, like, I, this has trash aim. Your aim is whack. Never mind, I missed. My aim is whack, not theirs. I, I lied. Now, I move up with the uh, machine gunner here, and we'll uh, mow this guy's down with the machine gun. What kind of machine gun is it? It looks like a Bren gun. Yeah, Lewis. Yeah. So, this is like a. This is a British weapon. Why do we have a British weapon? I don't know. We're not friends with the British in this timeline. In this timeline, we're actually friends with Nazi Germany. But, you know, still, we have British weapons for whatever reason. There are six different people over here. They're all dead. There we go. Shot him in the butt. There we go. Nice. Got him. Alright, now we just have to deal with... The last couple of dudes that are chilling out over here. And we, uh... Damn. I need to reload again. Damn it. Reload. There we go. I, I'm gonna crouch here. Uh, just to increase accuracy. Even though this thing has pretty decent accuracy, not gonna lie, but... We just, we could use, we could have better, so. And there we go. A nice dome shot right there got him down. 
This machine gunner here is absolutely cooking the enemy team. Enemy team getting destroyed. So you're. <laughs> Excuse me, what? I just got domed. That is definitely not a rifle. Why did that one tap me? That should not have one tapped my guy, but it did. So. Great. Right, what are we doing? So the next ob objective is up here. So we just need to clear yes, out sir. this area with uh, these uh, couple. With, we can use everything that we want to, but I'm only gonna try to use. Uh, I'm not gonna. Tr I'm gonna try to use. Um, or I'm gonna try to not use um, the uh, tanks too much because these things can get domed by um, bazookas. They just get one tapped, and so there is no point <laughs> in y using those. Damn. My god, bro, what the fuck? I just heard, like, two shots, and then, like, some some building fell over. I'm like, what? Alright, so we're here to take literally everything this man had. Nice. What's this? Ammo's box. I don't think we can... I mean, I don't think we can really use it, but also I don't want it, so. Go ahead here. Figure out where the next enemy is. The next enemy is right there. Get on the ground before this guy fucking domes us again. Did I not even kill him? Was it this guy? Did you take my kill? Who the hell killed that man? No one here has kills. I'm not sure who killed him. I just fell over dead. Wild, alright. Um. Actually, wait a second. Let's go and see who over here. Anyone over here have bazookas? Okay, they do have bazookas over here, so. It does make a lot more sense to just not engage with the vehicles. I was thinking about using the vehicles, but they have bazookas and shit over here, so. It makes very little sense to do that. Anyone on this side have a bazooka? They have an AT rifle, but that's not a bazooka. So, I think... I mean, we could potentially do some damage there. It's like he also revamped this little area. I don't think it had this many sandbags before. But it does now. Although, a half-track could be easily taken out by an anti-tank uh, gun. Even though anti-tank guns are pretty useless in any mod I've ever played. Um, especially, I don't, I don't know about Valor, um, which is what this game uses as a base. Uh, this mod uses the Valor mod as its base. So, I'm not entirely sure, like, I think, even in, like, in Valor mod, I'm pretty sure AT guns are even more useless, so. Yeah, continue moving forward with these bad boys. We're gonna have these, all three of these guys right here, back to back to back, so they can just really hammer this one side of the battlefield. Right, that's it. Let's I specifically do not like that side of the battlefield. Now, this guy has all the grenades, so you're going to be important because we're going to need you in order to kill a lot of these people here. So, it's all these people right here that are blocking us from getting out of this area. So, if we kill them, then we're set, right? And I mean... I think my characters might have plot armor because they can take a. I mean, unless of course do that one guy who got one zap, but still. Either the AI's aim is like a like a stormtrooper on crack, or I don't know. The AI just is not the greatest at anything. So. Yeah, I crawled forward there, and, and look at that. I've only gotten two kills though. But it's because they keep on hiding behind their stone wall. That's the only reason why. There we go. Three kills. We can pretty easily tell here because it'll go up on the kill count there. There we go. Just got two more over here. Not this guy? There we go. Six. So now that guy is dead. Damn. We don't want to lose this guy, but we're just going to leave him here. He's going to take a lot of hits, but it's fine. Let's 
fast. There we go. I wanted him dead. So I just targeted him. Because we have the angle. Damn, so they killed my guy. And I did not kill those last two people over there, but it's fine. Alright, that's it. Move out. Back up your columns. Alright, here we go. So try to get a very nice shot right there. Hit it. That was not a very good shot, I don't think. Actually, we can. We don't even need to show our person. We can just sit from behind here and throw, throw grenades up over the edge. I did not use this at all in my previous upload. I had zero idea this actually existed. How did that not do any damage? What the fuck? RNG is not in my favor, boys. I'm a fucking god. Fuck all of you. There we go. We got a kill. Let's go. Okay. So, what are we supposed to do? So you three have killed a bunch of guys over here, but still, there's there's still three, and they are currently working on that area there. Get off of the ground. You do not need to be on the ground to shoot a grenade launcher. Just get off of the ground. It would improve accuracy, I will admit, but can you blitz over here? Can and you will show them fuckers. I right, right. keep moving over here. So now we'll have now we'll be within grenading range. I don't have to use that fucking grenade launcher. I can just throw the grenade like a person. There we go. And we know what? We'll still use the grenade launcher any anyway. We got 13 kills on this guy. This guy's doing pretty good. I'm getting shot at by a million different people. I'm not sure if those are my own vehicles or if those are enemies, but I'm getting shot at. Um, no, I'm just gonna grab someone who has a Thompson. Thompsons are so much better. And this gun fucking sucks. I mean, like, they. People use this gun specifically for, um. Like, they use that gun, like, that's like a trench gun. That's a gun that you shoot out of your trench. And it's not, it's not actually a trench gun, but it's a gun that you, that they use during the, and they would, uh, during trench warfare. They just use their rifles to shoot grenades up and over their trench into the other enemy's trench. Which is, like, the only reason why that exists. Alright, I just sent these two tanks forward. Are these two half tracks, and they both got domed? So that's bad. Uh, maybe I should have just waited longer, but it's fine. All right, get you moving over here. Did I lose another one? Oh, we lost the other one, guys. All right, is there any chance of saving this one? No. Rip. All right, you guys can give uh, covering fire then. Give covering fire. Give our boys the cover fire they deserve. Mess him up, and I don't think there's anyone else over here, so we'll just run this way. Try not to die. You died. There's a medic down here. The medics are fucking useless. And also, there aren't any medics. I know. We'll bring this one forward. Why not? Fuck, they have double bazooka. Why do they have a double bazooka? This is not... <laughs> this is not Battlefield, but... Fuck. Okay, we will back up then. Yes, Message received. I will not be using... That. Is this guy a fucking... Is this guy a god? Like, the other guy died. This guy is perfectly fine. Okay, why can't you look at anyone, though? Now, give him that. I do not want... That fucking gun that is so useless. It is literally the least useful weapon I've been given this entire time. Um... 
I guess we can't really take all that stuff, but we can't take all that. And then give me the Tommy. There we go. Hat nerd. I'm fucking invincible. What about you? There we go. Where's this last guy at? There he is. Nope. I missed. I, I didn't miss, but like... Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? What? I am being given conflicting orders. What the fuck? I think I just fucked up the mission. Yes, sir. Um, I think I completed yes, sir. one thing out of order, and now it's just right, messed up the entire right. mission. Columns, Got it, that is really bad if that is the case. So now I can't complete the mission. Yes, sir. It's fine, we'll see. Right, that's it. We will that's see on. if uh, I mess up this mission eternally, or yes, if sir. we're fine. Hint, we are probably not fine, but we'll see. As I've said for the third time in a row. Alright, move forward. Just move forward, everything. See, it wants us to secure this area, which I'm pretty sure it already played that. I think that we've already technically secured this one. Even though we haven't secured it. I think it already thought we secured it, so... That's great. Like, if they had a bazooka, they would be shooting me right now. Like, he has a bazooka. No one over here does. So that just means we have to be very careful with people over here. This is where that bazooka is. Just break into them. You are a mortal person, for whatever reason. Leonardo Cox is the, uh mortal guy that we have. I'm not lying. There we go. Rip into them. Alright. You know, run over here. Yep, you know what? I am gonna play with- you are basically the main character at this point, buddy. You just- you are the main character. Here we go. That's right. There we go. Rip into him. Yeah. Your day has officially been fucked up. You're welcome. Got him. Alright, now it's just this last little area over here full of British people. Great. You can you don't have to go around this house, you can just cut through here. Yep, see? Look if you drive the tank through stuff, it doesn't even really stop you. I'll try to take this objective point again, but I'm pretty sure I messed it up to where I'm, I'm not going to take that objective point anymore. Because I'm pretty sure I already technically got it out of order. And so that's going to mean that I can't really complete the mission. Although we'll have to see though. Right, again, this guy is literally invincible, so we just have to run him right up into enemy fire. And like, he just won't die. Because I am invincible. Who's still left? Oh, you. Now there's no one left. There we go. The <laughs> Brits were documenting anything, correct? In these crates. Um, these are the MI6. Group of uh, 1909. Alright, they're putting together most of those inside. Port Kingus. Very nice. And leave the island back to England. Did they code 9 emergency? Code 9 emergency. Alright, so, while we're at the situation, um, uh, have just destroyed our antenna system earlier, preventing us from spreading the info to you. Okay, so our nation is not ready for a fifth war, a fifth war with the British Empire. <laughs> um, we're no longer technology superiors. Yeah, because we're using their technology. What, what Spitfire? Again, there was, I don't think there was a Spitfire. Like, there, we have the P-40s. I don't think there was a Spitfire, though. 
I don't remember seeing one across the map. Right? Like, I, mean, I guess there might have been one. So anyway, great work, Commander. We managed to completely pacify the entire Kion region of Lemur Island. But I have some grave news. The intel you found in the suburbs of Kion Village suggests a newly created uh, formation of British intelligence agents, known as the MI6, have been uh, present on the island two days after our initial beach landing and have been documenting our retaliation against these people for their massive crimes against us. They are planning on leaving this island and bringing their reports back to Britain where uh, they were. They are to arrive in London in just a few short days. We must stop these Brits before they that report gets off of Lemra. If the British Empire find out, but, uh, out that we are attacking this island, our nation is finished. So enemies lost 152 men, we lost 7 men in 2 vehicles. A little bit more casualties there than I want to, but yeah, hope this is what I'll catch y'all in the next episode coming out on Monday. So I'll see y'all there. Peace.